من الشركات المشاركة في معرض أديبيك 2013 في هذه الدورة من مؤتمر النفط الأبرز في المنطقة شركة جلاس بوينت سولر هي شركة أمريكية لديها أعمال في عمان معنا الرئيس التنفيذي للشركة سيد رود ماجريغور مستر ماجريغور ويلكم and thank you for the time you've given us thank you very much it's nice to be here thank you so uh, glass point has operations in oman you have an interesting project there based on uh, solar techniques can you tell us more about this project certainly so the big news here at epic this year i think is the growing demand for gas exactly. in the region uh, for industrial development for power generation for desalination there's a huge demand for gas but I think what's less well known is that a very large amount of gas is used today for enhanced oil recovery. Mm. That gas is burned to make steam, which is pumped down an oil well, melting the oil so you can pump it more easily to the surface. Now where glass point comes in is that we generate the same steam but using solar power so you don't have to burn the gas. Okay. Now you can imagine the effect of that, that gas which is now not burned for enhanced oil recovery can be used for something else, like job creation, power generation, desalination. And is the size of investment huge in such type of, of projects? I mean, the size, size of investment? The investment can be significant. You're essentially buying 30 years of energy all up front. But if you look at it on an NPV basis over the life of the project, it turns out to be about the same as the cost of gas here in the region. Okay. So you don't necessarily save any money by switching to solar. But the benefit is that you now release gas, which has a value which you can use for other things. And that's often way beyond the monetary value. You can imagine the effect if you were to take that gas and say, uh, give it to a factory, that they could then create lots of new jobs. You could give it to a power station, they could create electricity. You could give it to a water plant and they could desalinate water. Uh, do you have any plans to expand beyond Oman in the region, in the Gulf or other MENA countries? The situation in Oman is by no means unique. Uh, there's lots of heavy oil, there's great sunshine, and there is a need for gas for many other things. Mm. So that, those same conditions are true everywhere in the region, maybe except Qatar, who yeah. has plenty of gas. That's but right. uh, many other countries here have the same needs. So uh, if you think of the heavy oil, there's Bahrain, Kuwait, both have great sunshine, both are gas constrained. In the future, you can imagine Saudi also moving towards more EUR techniques. They're not doing it today. But the interesting thing is that at some point, every oil field becomes old enough that they have to start doing enhanced oil recovery. Mm. And at that point, there's an opportunity, if you're in a sunny location, to use solar instead of wasting gas for that application. Yeah. Uh, are there any, any projects in the pipeline? Are there any contracts you negotiated with an Adipic, for example, or you plan to negotiate in the coming days? So we're in discussion with all of the producers in the region, actually, because the problems we're discussing are common everywhere. Uh, there's much better uses for gas than enhanced oil recovery. So if you could use something else, everybody would want to. Uh, so we're, we're in, in, there's not an operator in the region that we're not discussing with. Um, how do you see the oil and gas uh, industry in the region, uh, the developments taking place here uh, compared to the international uh, standards? Well, it's interesting. I think you can see, if you look at PDO, for example, in Oman, they're very much the leader in enhanced oil recovery. Mm. They're doing things in Oman that's not happening anywhere else in the world. Uh, they're the only company which is doing uh, four different types of enhanced oil recovery, for example. And uh, they tend to be a trailblazer for the region. So we would expect things that PDO does to not only trickle out into other regional companies, but also into the international companies. So as you probably know, PDO is a, a joint venture between Shell, Total, and mm. the government. Mm. And so uh, Shell are also an investor in Glasspoint. So there's lots of commonality there and ways for the technology to spread out into the region. What is the effect of uh, using the solar techniques uh, uh, when it comes to the general economic situation, uh, benefits to the general economy? Yes, I mean, that's a great question. Sometimes when you think about solar power, you think, well, that'd be nice, it saves the environment. Yeah. But there's something much more significant happening with enhanced oil recovery because of the amount of gas that's used. If we use Oman as an example, more than 20% of all the gas produced in the country is burned for enhanced oil recovery. That's a tremendous amount of gas. If you could get yeah. that 
steam from somewhere else, that gas is now freed up for uses, other uses. It's almost like finding a new gas field that you didn't know you had before. Yeah, that's right. Mr. Rod McGregor, CEO of Glasspoint Solar, thank you very much for the time. Thank, thank you. you.